Okay, so today is our first lecture uh, in uh, engineering drawing and model making. And we will go over some uh, basic things. And at the end, I will give you the first one. Okay? So let's start with uh, what is uh, design in general. Okay, to remind you what is design, because this is very important to understand. A strategic approach to problem solving. What does it mean? That it means that design is essentially solving problems. You're not uh, designing just because you like designing. It is finding problems and then finding solutions to these problems through a new design or through a modifica modificated design, modified design. Now, designers and engineers use drawings to share and convey, explain their ideas. So, you as a designer have a lot in common with the engineer, actually. Okay? Because designers, both designers and engineers, use specific type of drawings that they use to explain their ideas, explain their designs. Now, there is, of course, differences. Uh, engineers focus more on the, uh, for example, the working of a specific design, how to solve the problems from inside. Designers, on the other hand, use technologies available and in, use it in a novel or new way with, together with the exterior of the design to fit the human use. So there is slight differences and this is why uh, we often uh, see in uh, certain projects, you can find designers and engineers working together as a group to basically bring a project to finish. So uh, there is a lack of knowledge in terms of engineering with certain designers, and engineers also lack the design knowledge and the design. So they have to work together to finish projects. Uh, now, of course, it depends what kind of projects you're dealing with. You know, every project, every design has its own needs. Like if you're, for example, <laughs> A fashion designer, okay, it's very different than if you're an interior designer, okay, or if you're a product designer, and even even that is not enough. Like if I if you say product design, okay, what product? Are you designing uh, this mouse or are you designing a car? It's a big difference, okay, in uh, complication, in uh, you know what it means. So, uh, just you need to understand that uh, designers not always work alone from A to Z in a project. Sometimes they collaborate with other specialists to uh, complete the project. And uh, to explain the new ideas, drawings, specific types are necessary, okay? So, what is the purpose of uh, engineering drawings? Basically, what we said, to communicate design ideas. Without these drawings, nobody will understand uh, what are you designing, okay? Even if you just draw a sketch, that is not enough. It doesn't have the measurements, it doesn't have, it doesn't have all the information needed for this design to be taken to the next stage, which is the production, to make it. And every design is made, is produced in the end. If you think about it, okay? Anything. If your interior design, whatever you're designing, it will be made for use. If you're a product designer, whatever you're designing, in the end it will be produced and used by the people. If you're a fashion designer, for example, you design certain clothes, they will be also manufactured, made. Okay? So everything in the, end is, in the end is made, manufactured, produced. Okay? So without uh, drawings, essentially, nobody will understand how to make a new design. Okay? So this is essential. In general, what we already explained, so before an object can be manufactured, meaning made, okay, its shape and dimensions, look shape and dimensions, must be determined on the drawing. So, what is the shape and what are the measurements, okay? This is very essential. Without these two, uh, we, we don't know what is the design. Uh, now, technical drawings, which 
basically mean engineering drawings. They're just different words, okay? Can be drawn by hand or computer. So in the past, before computers and these computer programs, the 3D, 3D computer programs were available, everybody was drawing highly detailed engineering drawings completely by hand. Even now, you have to do it, but in the final stage, these drawings are transferred to a computer. So, uh, even today, you have to first start by hand, okay? <laughs> you cannot just jump to the computer and do everything there. You need to be clear. Once you sit in front of a computer program, you need to be clear, what is it that I want to put in the computer? Uh, you cannot just experiment with things. So you need to have a drawing uh, guideline in front of you to transfer the ideas to the computer. So, now, engineering drawings or technical drawings contain detailed two-dimensional drawings okay, of a certain part or a complete object. It depends on what is it that uh, you're designing and what is it that needs to be uh, made, manufactured. And other manufacturing data. So this varies from project to project. Okay? Uh, not all the projects have the same needs, the same data that needs to be provided. Uh, <clears throat> so, the more clear these drawings are, uh, the better the communication, and the less uh, mistakes will happen once a design goes to the manufacturing. So, uh, designers need to know about these type of drawings because uh, you may, in the future, deal with manufacturers. So the manufacturer, he has specific knowledge in reading drawings, technical drawings, engineering drawings. So if you give them something that is wrong or not clear, the manufacturer will not understand what you mean. So uh, the, the, this is a type of language between designer, engineer, manufacturer, so everybody can understand what is the meaning of this design. What needs to be made? <coughs> so, let's move on. So what is, what basically makes up, what is uh, included in an engineering drawing? In general, we have border and zones. In a minute, we will see examples of uh, all of these. We have title block. We have also uh, revision history block on some drawings, tolerance and projection block, and a drawing area that could contain various drawings, such as, for example, it could contain orthographic multi-views, it can have section views, it can have an isometric view, detailed views, exploded views. Of course, not all of this in one drawing. Sometimes you have a series of drawings. Here you have orthographic, here you have isometric, here you have exploded. All of these drawings to explain the entire design okay, idea uh, in detail. Now, there is also other things, but these are the general things included in engineering drawings. Now, we saw in a minute, one second, so I explained here borders and zones, so what do we mean with that? Here we have a sheet, and as you can see, it has a border, okay? This is a border. Now, there are some specifications, what is the size of this border, okay? Uh, it is not totally up to the uh, person <laughs> who is designing to do. It depends on the sheet size, okay? But uh, some uh, specifications vary a little bit. So sometimes they tell you, okay, one and a half centimeter or one centimeter, but it, it really depends on the sheet size. So we have a border with a specific uh, measurement. And we have zones. What are the zones? Do you see here? We have letter zones and we have number. Numbers, letters. Letters on the side, numbers on the top and on the bottom. So, this is used basically for what? So that, uh, mainly, mainly, so that when you explain an engineering drawing, for example, uh, there is a people in front of you and you want to explain, you will, for example, say, Okay, uh, D6, okay? It, it tells you a specific uh, uh, place in the engineering drawing. 
I will show you examples also later of this. So, or I say, for example, to E. Immediately, you understand, ah, okay, I need to look here, I need to look there. And it's, when the drawing is really complicated, this helps in uh, explaining or uh, in a fast way to people, what do you mean exactly? And also, if, if there is a specific mistake, someone can tell you, look at uh, that area, there is a specific problem or a mistake, or can you explain that, and so on. So these zones are always present, uh, they are very useful, okay? Uh, so, we have here, okay, this is all the drawing area, okay? For the, whatever drawing is going to be placed. This is the title block. The title block contains a certain general information on all drawings, and some drawings need additional. So sometimes we find this title block is really long and complicated and with a lot of details, and sometimes it's more simple, okay? So it really depends on the needs and on the drawing and what is required. So this is here the title block, revision history block, uh, this thing we will not really uh, use. This is for actually when you when you try to manufacture something. So someone will revise the drawing and then send it back, or you know these kind of things. Uh, but in general, this is what you will see in engineering drawings. <laughs> so the most important part of all of this. Uh, Drawing is basically the drawing itself, okay? <laughs> what, what is in here? So, for example, this is here an orthographic, a, a simple orthographic drawing with just two views, uh, front view, top view, and a pictorial, which is an isometric done. Okay, for example, this is the drawing area. Sometimes uh, isometrics are combined with the orthographic, sometimes they're put alone. Uh, this is another uh, subject that we will discuss later. But this is here an example of the drawing area. And you can see all the measurements. Uh, these drawings are done to scale, in a specific scale. We will talk about that also in a minute. So, the scale. <coughs> the scale is always put here, in the title block. What is the scale? Okay, so uh, always a drawing is done to scale. Now, uh, sometimes you have very big designs which cannot fit into the paper in their view size, so they are scaled down, made smaller. But you need to say how smaller, like uh, half, 10 times smaller, 100 times smaller. So uh, you need to say if you're using the real size, then it's one to one scale. Okay? It's the real size. If it's a small object, it's advisable to use one-to-one -one scale, the real size. But if it's too big, you need to reduce, okay? So there is scale reduction, full size, which is one-to-one, -one, and scale increase. Sometimes you need to show an object which is very small, and there is no, no possibility to put even measurements of how small it is. So you increase its size. So, for example, 50 times bigger two times bigger, three times bigger, so that so that people are able to see, and also so you can put the measurements, because if it's so small, it's really difficult uh, to, to see. So, again, this is for parts sometimes, and uh, but, but it's not very often used. It's for details, for very small parts only. Most of the time we have this, the full size, or the scale reduction. Now, you already know these things, like most of the things in general, uh, if you've taken <laughs> introduction to 3D design, but here uh, in this class we will focus a lot on the details and we will explain things in more uh, details basically than uh, what you already know. So if you remember from the past, uh, drawings, any, the drawing can be of a different scale, it can be the real scale, it can be smaller, also larger, but when you put the measurement here, if you remember, I, I told you that, it has to be always the real measurement of the actual whatever you're designing, okay? So if this pencil is, uh, let's say, 6.5 uh, centimeters, 
even if you draw it half size or quarter size or whatever on the drawing, the measurement needs to stay whatever it's going to be when it's made. Okay? So this you never change. Yeah? Only the visual, how smaller it is on the drawing. So this is just uh, some examples uh, of scales. Uh, something important to uh, notice here is, uh, look at the scale types. Like for, exa for example, reduction scales, one to two, one to five, one to 10, and so on. They become smaller and smaller and smaller. This is one to one, the real scale. This is here, enlargement scales. This is how you write, two to one, opposite. Look, this is one to two, this is two to one twice, you know, the size, five to one, and so on. Now, there is a general rule that uh, it's not advisable to use scales, for example, uh, one to three, one to four, one to six. Yeah, you see, uh, there are general acceptable scales. So, uh, like, you cannot use scale uh, 1.2, for example, okay? Not, not, not advisable. So, there are things that you need to follow, uh, when you select a certain scale. Yeah? So don't make uh, parts of a number, like only what we have here. Of course, they can get larger or uh, you know, bigger. Uh, bigger or smaller, but they have to be in full uh, you know, numbers. So, uh, this is what uh, I already explained about the zones used. So we have here the letters, we have the numbers, and uh, you can clearly uh, identify areas in the drawing that need explanation. Okay. Now these uh, zones, okay, these zones. I will explain also and show some example. Uh, if you notice, let me go back. Like notice here, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, just and so how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. And here we have eight. Mm -hmm. So eight numbers, six letters. Uh, but then this drawing, look at it. It has more. It has more letters and more numbers. It has like how many? Eleven, I think, here. And how many letters? So why is this happening? It depends on the paper, on the paper size. size. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there are specific uh, table we will see in a minute. So you know, if you have an A3, how many letters to put, how many numbers? If you have an A4, if you have an A1, and so on, okay? Everything is uh, decided. <coughs> now, uh, this is here about the title block. Uh, again, as I said, uh, like for example, this is an example. It doesn't mean all drawings have to follow exactly this title block uh, example. But uh, there is general information that needs to be there. For example, like the scale, it has to be in there. The title of the drawing, the name of the person who, who drew it. Sometimes the date put, the sheet, like is this uh, one sheet or is it, is it a series of sheets? Like sheet, number, what is this? One or uh, two or whatever, okay? So you know, a certain project that all the sheets belong to this project. So, uh, so, there is certain information that needs to be in here, and as I said, it can get a lot if the uh, project is complicated and the drawing complicated. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Now, this uh, revision history, uh, as I said, we will not use it in our projects, but you still, uh, you know, I need to say that it's available because many drawings uh, have it, okay? Uh, if they go to a real manufacturing. Here's something that's uh, useful. Now this box is sometimes uh, included in the, in, the, in the title block together. Okay? Sometimes it's like a separate box. And this shows the tolerances and the uh, projection method. About this we will talk a little later about it, not in this class, maybe uh, in, in other lectures. But if you remember from the introduction to 3D design in the past, I just mentioned it quickly that the way in an orthographic drawing you rotate an object, it, it has a first angle and a third angle rotation. And we use the third angle, okay? And we didn't focus much on the details. But in this class, we will 
focus on exactly what is first angle, what is third angle rotation. And this needs to be shown in the box, on the drawing. So everybody knows, okay, what did you do? Uh, how did you do your views? According first or third angle? Because different parts of the world, uh, you can find sometimes they use this, sometimes they use that uh, method. So uh, it can get confusing if you don't mention, and there is a symbol for it. Okay? But later we will discuss what's the difference of the symbol for the both uh, projection methods. And the tolerance is for manufacturing, like uh, it's, it's with parts of millimeters sometimes. What is, for example, a certain part measurement that can be a little bit increased or a little bit decreased? Because not everything can be 100% fit the measurement. Sometimes the machine, when the machine cuts, and we will see it when we start making a model, uh, you, can, you can basically eat off a millimeter mm. of the actual uh, you know, measurement. So how much is allowed the tolerances? Can you go one centimeter, make a, you know, <laughs> or one millimeter or half millimeter? This is important in uh, very detailed parts. If you can see all the products around us, especially products, electronics, and this kind of stuff, they're very detailed. Like if, if a small mistake happens in the measurement, it will affect the quality of the product. So uh, it needs to be specified how much is allowed during manufacturing. Okay. Now, again, we will not uh, focus on this in our projects because we are not going to that level of uh, complication uh, and actually manufacturing a product, but you need to understand what does this mean. Uh, here, we can see the different sheet sizes. We have the A3, which we will be using. It's double the A4, exactly two A4s make A3. Exactly two A3s make the A2, and then two A2s make the A1, and then we have A0, okay? We will be using mostly this and this, this semester, okay? Now, the sheet sizes, as we said, affect the <coughs> number of zones. So how many letters from the side, how many let, uh, numbers to put from the top and the bottom? For example, the A3 sheet will have 6 by 8. The A2, which is bigger, will have 8 by 12, okay, and so on. Uh, so, so, you can... Another 8 number. Uh, sorry? 6 letters. Yes, 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 yes. And you can see it in the previous, uh, those examples. You can see sometimes there is an A4 page, clearly, because we have 6 by 4. And uh, there is a one with A3, uh, with the more... Uh, Numbers. So you can't really tell much it's the page by uh, looking at these uh, zones. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in the beginning we will be uh, using A3 paper okay, for the beginning 15 exercises. So, you can uh, basically uh, draw the zones for all of them the same at once and finish with them and then just add the drawings, you know, later. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, there is also dimensioning. Symbols, dimension meaning me measurements, symbols for measurements that you put on the drawing. Again, there are many, many okay, symbols, but we will be focusing in our drawings on these, like we have a uh, diameter, for example, if we have a part of a circle, uh, a circle, what is the diameter of the circle, a radius of a circle or parts, a uh, number of times, or places, it's an X, like for example, you have a circle here in an object you're drawing and another circle of the same size here. So you can, when you place the measurement, for example, the diameter of the circle, you can say times two, because this and this the same. Or sometimes you have four, five, six, the same parts, same sizes. So you just put times, how many of them, okay? So we, we understand they're all the same, and you don't have to put the measurements on each one, okay? So we understand that the same. The depth, sometimes you have a hole opening and there is a depth. And this is the sign for it. Uh, a line with a, you, you will see it later more clearly, uh, with an arrow down. So that, uh, because some drawings can be confused if you don't put depth. Like, we don't know, is this about uh, uh, the size of the, for example, the circle you're talking about, or 
the depth of the circle. So uh, there are different symbols indicating different things. And uh, this is what to eliminate the need for language translation. Again, anyone looking at your drawing can understand what you mean by using the correct symbol. <coughs> so, we are now in the homework part. Now the first homework will be easy, very easy, okay? uh, because it's just the preparation of the papers. So, what did I say here? For the first part of the semester, until the midterm, we will be using A3 size Fabriano. Please leave a border of 1.5 centimeter, 1.5 from here, 1.5 from here, on all of them. Please be very exact, okay? Okay, because now we are not just uh, in the introduction to 3D design class when I told you two centimeter border and some students ignored uh, everything I say. Now, every detail you need to do, if you ignore it or do it in a wrong way, it will, be, uh, it will affect, the, the, what will it affect the marks? Because we are talking about engineering drawing here. You need to be detailed to the millimeter, okay? Okay, so 1.5, 1.5 centimeter. Uh, frames, six by eight, okay? So uh, this is of course uh, uh, an A4 paper, so don't follow this. You need to put six and eight, okay? Eight numbers and six letters from the sides. And please, when you write these letters, not the uh, freehand, by these rulers which have letters, make sure, for example, uh, that these zones are uh, clearly divided equally. And when you put the letter, you put it exactly in the middle, not one to the side, one up, one down, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, all of this affects the result. Uh, prepare at least 15 sheets. So, now, the second thing that you need to do is the title block. Now, the title block, you don't have to do it now, but before you submit me the drawings, uh, after we finish the 15 drawings, they need to have a title block, okay? So the title block will be placed in this location, in this location, lower right corner, not here, not up here, okay? Not, yeah, it, they need to be here, okay? Now, this title block, you will, how, how to do it? You will draw it on Word program or Illustrator program, whichever you uh, are more comfortable with. It's just very simple. It's just the box, the lines in between the divisions. And uh, so it needs to be a four centimeter, four here by 12 for, for our drawings for now, for the A3 paper. So this is here each one centimeter, and this here 12. Uh, print them on sticker paper. Now, you can, uh, all of this need to be here. This symbol needs to be here. Okay, so if you want to leave it for later so you understand what you're doing, and uh, you can do it. You don't have to finish it now. But I'm just telling you what needs to be here. So the drawing number, so one here, Drawing number, okay? So this is drawing, for example, the first, the second, what? And sheet one, what of what? Okay, so uh, sometimes you have other drawings that relate to this. Now ours will be uh, simple, but you still need to include this, okay? So drawing number, title, number two is title, the title here. It will be different on each drawing. How, for example, this drawing is an uh, orthographic multi-view drawing, the next one could be exploded view or isometric or whatever, okay? So here is the title. Number three is our class name, engineering drawing and model making, here, okay? You will put. The scale is number four, here you will put it. Angle of rotation symbol, which is this one, okay? Uh, this could change again from uh, drawing to drawing. Uh, depends on what I ask, first or third angle, okay? Uh, so don't do it now, this, because uh, some of the things uh, you don't know now what you need to write, okay? Uh, student name, 
number six. Okay, you still have me. So, this box needs to be uh, just printed on uh, sticker paper. You will cut it and you will glue it on your drawing. But as I said, uh, even though I put it now in the homework, uh, please leave it till later. Okay, for now, just prepare the border and the zones and leave this area free. But you need to know uh, in general about it, the, the measurement, so that you don't uh, draw something on this area, on this area where this should be, the title block, okay? Uh, that's why I put it now. Later, uh, you can have, for example, uh, the general information here, the class, uh, for example, printed, class name, your name printed, and you can leave the rest either typed, which is actually more beautiful, or you can write it by hand, it's up to you. Uh, for every drawing, some of the information will change and then you can print them in one go and put them uh, on the drawings and submit, okay? Mm -hmm. So, what do you need to do for now, for next class? This, okay? Have at least 15 drawings prepared with borders, with zones, and you can leave, for example, just, uh, just the size here, for example, 12 centimeter by four, just to draw a box like this, uh, so that you know, okay, this area I shouldn't touch because this is the location for my box, with pencil, just. And leave it empty for now, okay? So this should be ready uh, for next uh, class. We will have a lecture next class, and uh, you don't need to bring the drawings, you know, but they need to be completed because we will start very soon with the actual drawings. So finish them as fast as possible, and really, I advise you to complete like at least 15 or more extra in case you make a mistake somewhere. Uh, so that in later, you don't have to repeat the whole process which is time consuming for every drawing. Drawing the zones, drawing, uh, you know, all this stuff. And just focus on the drawing. So finish it now while you still have time, okay? So later your life will be more easy. <laughs> so you will just focus on the homework, not on uh, all of this... Uh, Preparation of the of the layout. Okay. Any uh, questions? Let me uh, stop this. Uh -huh.